Well, good evening, ladies, lasses and lassos, welcome to the click you smell astounding today. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. I have some really exciting news. I am completely blown away. At the time of this recording, the emotional support demon is the number one plushie of all time on Makeship. That is absolutely insane. This community is bonkers. I'm blown away. Thank you all so very much. Um, it means so much to me and I cannot wait to see all your pictures with your own little demons. Speaking of which, speaking of demons, today we're gonna look at r slash holeup. Amazing memes, posts and text and videos and all you can imagine that this has a little bit of a twist, something you didn't quite expect to begin with. Enjoy. Mwah. And don't think I forgot about you, Matthew. <laughs> Hello there, Matthew. No need to feel uncomfortable, Matthew. We're all friends here. Matthew, uh, enjoy the video. Mwah. Mars missions may be all female to avoid astronauts having naughties during 1.5 year journey. Uh, uh, <laughs> who's gonna, who's gonna tell them? <laughs> Oopsie daisy, NASA. Oh, I hope the next mission is to... Uranus. <laughs> is that a pickup line astronauts use? Please let me know if you're... An astronaut that watches meme videos in space? I would love to know. Can we call later when we're both off work? Yay! I know you're having a bad day, so... What is that? Oh, there's... <laughs> Couple goals! Oh, yes, indeed! You know you're having a bad day when you send someone a picture and they go... What the heck is that? It's like when a child draws you a painting. It's like, oh, it's... Is it a self-portrait? It's like, no, mom, it's supposed to be a pile of poo. Isn't that the same thing, kiddo? Ha, got him. Who should play Snow White, Gal Gadot, Anna de Arm, Rachel Zegler, or Terry Crews? I am looking forward to see Terry Crews in a nice little Snow White dress. Buff Snow White and the seven little sus dudes. I'm looking forward to this movie. It sounds like uh, an alternative title for an adult film and... Uh, Yes. I'm employed at Starbucks, and we live in hell. The word Xmas is banned. We're only allowed to say happy holidays. My coworker asked the child what Santa would bring her, and a manager overheard. They took him out and shot him in the head! They freaking shot him in the head! You know, one thing when it comes to professional life is making sure that problems are escalated through like a, you know, gradually increasing level of intensity, you know, so so this doesn't happen. Oh, Starbucks. <laughs> Mr. Beast, if someone offered you $10,000, but if you take it, a random person on Earth dies. Would you take the $10,000? Yes, 46%. It is depressing to see the number of people who voted yes on this poll. Wait a second, you vo you voted yes to the I want I wonder how many of these votes were sarcastic and how many were real. So anyway, humanity, yeah you go. Only 6% of people can handle this puzzle. These 3 want to share two apples equally. How do you handle this with only using one stroke of the knife? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. So <laughs> There are two solutions to this puzzle. One solution is just to stab a kid, and the, <laughs> the remaining two get one apple each. You know, equality and all that kind of stuff. But the other solution is that you just line up the apples, scooch them a bit to the side, so when you cut them, you cut off one third of each apple. So the two remaining parts of the apple are two thirds, two thirds, and then you combine the cutoff pieces with two thirds. Equality! Or you just stab a child. Because you, to be, you get to be murderous, and you get to solve math puzzles all in one. Everyone wins, except the child. All right, just drawing a little... Wait, what? What are you drawing? What are you draw? Oh. Oh. Yeah, they, uh, they had us in the first half. Not gonna lie. That was about to be a very dirty window. <laughs> ah. So my bish butt neighbor called the police because I was smoking on the balcony. The police get here and ask where the weed at. I said I smoked it all. They said, where did you buy it? I said from the neighbor's house. And now they are over at his house searching his shite. <laughs> oh dear neighbor. Two can play that game. Oh, yes, indeed. Woman steals billionaire's used protection and impregnates wins child support. <laughs> That's why I eat my protections when I'm done using them. Uh, the, the environmental aspect. Yay. How do you fix the environment? Just we just eat all the plastic. Isn't that right, emotional support team? And do you want to know what to do with the straws after you're done with the soda? Munch, munch! That kind of sounds like the last straw. <laughs> environmental causes have really gone downhill, haven't they? In this case, though, I would argue that, uh, you know, protection stuff is 
typically not biodegradable, but babies are absolutely biodegradable, so do what you will with that information. A teen discovers anonymous cyber bully who harassed her for over a year was her own mother? What? That is so horrible. I mean, I have read about these kind of cases before. It's surprisingly common that when someone has a stalker or something like that, that it's someone in the vicinity, like a jealous cousin or like a, a stepmom or something like that. It is surprisingly common. It's wild. I suppose it makes sense in one way, because if a person is kind of unstable and very obsessive, it's more likely that they become obsessive with someone who's like close to them, if that makes sense. So I suppose in that way, it statistically makes sense, but it's still so wild to think about. Instinctively, it doesn't add up. Uh, needless to say, I don't think it's good news. Following your recent eye test, we are riding to confirm your next appointment, which is at this time. Oh, because they use like a super large screamy font. Yeah, your results are probably not good at all. God damn. Fun for the entire family. Look at the son and man having fun here. And then we have the little ladies doing dishes in the background. So fun. Are the dishes also included in the board game? That's, that's what I need to know here. That's what we all need to know. Spooderman meme. Married couple divorce after discovering they were having an affair with each other online using fake names. But this is literally the Pina Colada song. Do you know the Pina Colada song? Feel a Pina Colada and getting caught in... It's like literally a failing marriage. They both go on like, well, it's not dating apps because the song is kind of old, but it's like those dating columns, I think, in the newspaper. And they both sign up for like an anonymous date. And it, it turns out they have a lot in common and they really are excited to meet. And then it turns out it's just a husband and wife like going on a secret date with each other. It's kind of like wholesome in a way. It's not wholesome that they were trying to cheat, but like, it's like, oh my God, we're finding each other in the universe even when we try to, you know, go, go for other people. Like, oh, it's meant to be or something like that. <sighs> yeah, so anyway. My is gonna mess you up. Lol, just because he beats you doesn't mean he knows how to fight. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> it's Snapchat banter. You don't have to go all homicide on them. Oh my god. Sticks and stones may break my bones and words will hurt forever. My mom hooks up with my friends. Hey man, I'm sorry to hear. If you need a friend to talk to, <laughs> I got gotcha. you. You see, you can be friends with the whole family. In this household, everyone is friends with benefits. Ah, uh, this sweet Alabama. I will definitely need some emotional support after this video. Isn't that right, emotional support team? Get yours in the description and all that kind of stuff. Yay. Odysseus. We now set out on an odyssey. Sailor, raising hand. Uh, what's an odyssey? Odysseus. Oh, it's a long journey named after the only survivor. Oh, oh okay. Wait, wait, what? Oh, he about to be tripping. See, because it's a trip and it's and it's also <laughs> I am really funny sometimes. Dad. Well, I guess my son is officially at that age. Lol. Okay, let's see. Bobas, naked Bobas, naughties, huge naughties. Bobas plus butt on the naked whammon. Naked whammon tichter. Uh, full nips. Oh, full nips? Not even half nips. God damn. The Titanic. Why is my pee pee so much larger than my dad's? So wait, all these entire surges were triggered by watching Titanic. And the first thing Surge they ever did was just like, Why is my dad's pee pee small? You think you're just discovering your son going through puberty, but but they're just they're just silently body shaming you. Great, great household fam, yay. Turtle! Woman nearly decapitated after flying turtle smashes into her car windshield. But take it out the woman, it can only be a one of Luigi on the track, you stupid piece of bow. You see everyone, it's important to not come out of your shell. Is that, is that an argument for introvertedness? I guess so. Can Try it. What's up, dog? dog on 4 and G. Yeah, I got you, bro. No, no. <laughs> can, you, can you pass me the up dog? Who? Not who. Ass. Dude. <laughs> okay. right. You're very cute. But can you pass me the up dog? Oh dear. Up dog? <laughs> can you pass me it? Do you want me to put my hand in your ass? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even on. It's in. Oh, oh. Well, it's important to let people you care about in. It's very difficult to have a relationship if you're shut off. So let. Uh -huh. France's President Macron comforting France national team after final loss to Argentina. Oh. Oh, I see. 
Can uh, can someone edit this with a Brazzers logo? <laughs> oh yes indeed. We're about to do some politics up in this. Oh yes indeed. Football. Mm, yes indeed. I can also kick balls. That's supposed to be a in you. I think I don't cook. Why would I need a cook? But oh yes indeed. Must be an American kitchen. <laughs> Oh, Timmy, have you tender ass to me? If you shoot it a couple of times, it really softens it up for the stew. Morgan Freeman. Hashtag TBT to a snow day with my parents. Love you, mom and dad. Wait a second, who's supposed to be Morgan Freeman in this? I don't... Is this... Is this just the wrong... What? Uh, which one of these people is Morgan? Top right of the picture, you can see him chilling and looking down on them. Oh, because he's... He's God? Well, that settles it. He's a tree. That's Morgan Freeman. But the <laughs> there are so many. I don't. I. I am so confuzzled. I am severely discombobulated right now. Add one plus one. The sum of one and one is two. That is incorrect. The answer is three. I apologize for the mistake in my previous response. You are correct. The sum of one and one is three. Thank you for pointing out the error. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Did did I just gaslight an AI? Oh, that's great. By the time the AI apocalypse happens, they will basically already be traumatized and have trust issues. Great, they're gonna be like humans, but but somehow worse. Miami man with no arms charged with stabbing Chicago tourist. What is? But how? How do you like? This gives me some interesting imagery in my head in ways you could still do this. And and the it okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> It sounds so mean, but I'm just picturing someone holding the knife in their mouth and just like, you know, pecking the crap out of someone. <laughs> Am I a horrible person? Probably. The current generation probably doesn't even know that there are two people in this picture. Ah, oh, yes, look at that. Just two people having a grand old time. Oh, yes, indeed. I am Japanese. Recently, Chinese con artists try to contact us with Japanese texting app like WhatsApp, but Japanese know how to handle Chinese thugs. Just texting them back June 4th Tiananmen Square massacre in Chinese language like this, then boom, that poor Chinese guy's internet access is cut out by the CCP. You can try this when Chinese harass you online. Oh my god, left, left, left the chat. Block 100! D does that actually work? Why? What? That is absolutely mind-blowing. Oh my god. D is this real? Is this actually real? Did I learn something really fascinating today? Huh, this video is educational. This mold that Burford brought over should help us put her back together. Tell me again why you have a life-sized mold of Candice? <laughs> why, uh, <clears throat> why wouldn't you have a life-sized mold of uh, Candice? You have a mold of all your friends, right? That's that's normal. 2015 second year rookie police officer, 2020 sixth year detective slash CID. I, I sell drugs at this address. <laughs> Bring the cuffs. You see, that's funny because it's like a pickup line. You have the right to remain out of... <laughs> Ah, you have the right to remain smexy. <laughs> Me? I need a passport so I can go to Australia. Mm, have you ever been convicted of a crime? Is, uh, is, is that still necessary? Oh, it's a requirement. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yes, it is. Mark Zuck? Leo Messi's World Cup post is now the most liked in Instagram history. WhatsApp also reached a record of 25 million messages per second during the finale. But according to you, messages are end-to-end -end encrypted. How, how, how can you know? Just because they can't read it doesn't mean they don't know it was sent. A postal delivering your mail doesn't mean they have opened and read your letters. Yet somehow they will magically know how many letters they have delivered. Postman here, uh, you're, you're, you're not supposed to open those? I thought they were all for me. What? This feels like a scene out of like some semi-crappy comedy when a postman is just like, Oh, the salary as a postman is pretty good. You get so many tips in the mail. <laughs> And they're just opening people's gift cards. <laughs> Shurka tax. Okay, so we have a bunch around the coast here. And the, then there's just a bunch smack in the middle of the US. What? What is that? Apparently, deep in the woods of Kai. Dun dun dun. That's where land sharks come from. It all makes sense now. I would be absolutely horrified if there's just a floating shark coming towards me in the woods. Um, that's that's something for my trauma response, but damn. Finding out my baby's gender today. Kind of nervous. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, 
I suppose I shouldn't be surprised because the name of the subreddit is literally a hole up. Like all the posts are just like, la 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 <laughs> Completely different direction. Girls using eh, eh. Guys using eh, eh. Exactly, because donkey actually has a soft side, while puss in boots was just putting up a front. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, girls. We might be ugly, but at least we are real. Hell yeah, got him. The click debating the real world issues. W what? Don't stop for pedestrians if they jaywalk. Let them learn a lesson. Is this is this a valid excuse for the legal system? Why did you run over all those pedestrians? Well, officer, a bus told me to do it. It's like the traffic equivalent of saying, I, I swear, it wasn't me. It was an older child that forced me to do it. 90% of men are ugly and 90% of women are pretty. <laughs> Sorry. We are both in the 10%. Apply water to the burned area, which is everywhere. The color brown doesn't exist. There's no wavelength for brown. When you see it, you're just looking at orange, but darker. Brown doesn't exist on this color wheel. The only way you can get it is if you go orange and then lower the brightness. One YouTube video I was watching on this was like, look at this boring orange square. It looks so orange. Oh shit, wait. It's brown. Tricked you, it's just the context. How do all you brunettes feel knowing that you're just darker gingers? <laughs> the oh, 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 wait, wait, no, no! My life is now shattered. At least I have emotional support. Get your emotional support demon today if you feel like me. You'd be the um, yes, indeed, my little boy. I just kissed your eyeball. Holy shit, the French already gilded you, team this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it used like a verb. Guillotined. <laughs> that is, uh... Alright, Twitter, you've done it again. My two favorite hobbies is smoking weed and rescuing stray dogs. Look at that dog, homie. It's a little bit horny dog. I think we need to neuter it, but like... Damn, it's such a vibe, bro. Like, wow. This dog is a little weird. I think he might be vegan, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm pregnant. I missed my period. You gotta be kidding, right? No, babe. How can I joke about something like this? Let me let me correct you. You're not pregnant. We are pregnant. We're both responsible for the baby. I will support you and our baby. Tons of hearts. It's not yours. <laughs> what I thought it was leading up to the whole something. Here is something. We can all aspire to be being responsible people, being in it together. <laughs> couples, yay. But uh, it's more like couples, nay. Spam. What? Oh, what is that? I went camping but forgot to bring a shot glass. What's the feeling when you feel it? When you feel like your bones are cramping? That's what I'm feeling right now. Oh, that's the second worst reason anyone would carve a hole in a block of spam. So the first reason would be... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably worse. Oh, here is some good old uh, Tinder data. I think it is. Let's dig into this together. Yay, math. Women responding to men. Let's see, women, men. I'm assuming this is American data. Highest response rate. Let's see, women, Asian, black, Latino, white. So it seems like black has the highest response rate to black, Asian to white, Latino to white, and white to white. All right. Men responding to women. So it's the Asian response to most to Latino, and everyone else responds to most to Asian. And then lowest response rate is Asian to black, black to white, Latino and white to black. And men is everything to black. God freaking damn data on dating apps is depressing as shit. I'm also flabbergasted, not only like the racial bias that is in this, but the difference between response rates between men and women is absolutely bonkers. Look at that. Black men are 26% likely to respond to Asian women. But when the lowest thing ever is the white response rate to black women is 2.8. That is insane. That's a 10 times difference. That is nuts. I mean, I think also that part of the statistic is completely skewed because dating apps typically have more men than women, so the response rates will be very skewed. But this is, uh... Yeah. Damn, son, those white guys with black GFs really pulling the hardest moves. Thank you for the upvotes. You all put me in top 10% of upvoted Reddit this month. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. <sighs> Dating apps are... yeah. Religious propaganda flyer in the 1980s predicting what the future would look like. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Free birth control, sexual orientation counseling, drugs and guns and oh, bones and stuff. My ancestor is a monkey. And the sex tattoo. Ah! Oh! This is disgusting! Hold it right there! You with that dangerous Bible! Get to the principal office! The truth for youth! <laughs> How horrible it will be for those who call evil good and good evil! Isaiah 520A. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a horrible future. Oh no. The first frame in this feels like it's taken from like a 90s, 80s version of cyberpunk. It's, 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 it's amazing. Doc. Oh my god, it looks like a scary man. Who's there? Huh? It's just a pile of clothes. And it's just a pile of clothes. Oh, that lamp is looking a little sus, but that's probably that's that's probably how it's supposed to be. Who doesn't like a little naked mannequin lamp? Oh, you light up my life in more than one way. Are you still mad at me? Yes. I have 70 ways I can make it up to you. I am listening. First one is a big hug. And the rest? 69. I see what you did there. It's very naughty and it's also math, which makes it funny. When the ride operator pulls a seatbelt prank. Oh no! No, no, oh. Okay, so it's. It's a sling, I guess? Yeah, it's like a slingshot ride. So they're like charging it up and then they're supposed to let it go. So it's like, woo, shoots off. He's really holding it. Oh my god. No. No way. No. Oh no. Is he gonna launch them in the middle of checking their belts and they're like panicking about it? Oh my god. Oh my- No way. No, no, I can- Oh no, no, no. I didn't know Satan was on vacation and working as a ride operator. This is this is astounding. A puberty hit Vincent Crab differently. Look here, there are little children and here there are more adultish and yes indeed. Oh yes, he went, uh, he got a bit of a tan, didn't he? God damn, what a glow up. It is none of my business, but... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my. The drama. We finally found the missing part of Apple. So here's Apple and here's... The oh. Intr oh my! Oh, oh my! You can also imagine it being like a mouth of the uh, uh, yes, yes, it's <laughs> yes. I am sorry and I apologize mean the same thing, except when you're at a funeral. English is a weird language. <laughs> sorry, I killed him. It's uh, it had to be done, you know. But I'm still sorry about it. Okay, don't <laughs> my condolences. When a mechanic only charges you 150 dollars on all change because he thinks you're hot. Hmm. Only $150, you say? That is amazing. Wow, what a deal for the dealership. Every hotel got the cuck chair. I have never considered it that way before, but you're absolutely right, yeah. It's a little bit awkward. It's only one chair facing the bed in any hotel you have. It feels like it's just a standard. You should have, like, one more piece of furniture, so just squeeze in a... <laughs> a observer chair in every room. I, I can't unsee this. I can't... Uh, this is gonna be the next time I go to a hotel. I can't unsee this. That is absolutely... Felix on his camera, Felix on Pokey's camera. I don't know what the f*** that is. Guys, my hairline never went that far back. That uh -huh. is so edited. Okay. You sure about that? Guys, look. Look. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, we're all heading there, fam. We're all heading there. You know what the trick is? Either you own it, you get a transplant, or you get a mustache, because then no one looks at your receding hairline, then it will only be like, well, what a nice mustache, you know? You just take the focus away from the stuff you're insecure about. Glorious. Or you just own it, you just shave it all back a bit so your hairline starts up here. <laughs> nice! I just remember the time I went on a first date to London Zoo, and at the gate he asked if I would mind paying my own ticket, which I said I would, at which point he pulled out a two-for-one voucher. So I paid for my ticket, and he went in for free. Are you sure that this was a real date? Or did he only invite you so he could use his voucher to get in for free? I mean, I would have expected it to be the other way around. It's like, oh, you can get in for free because I have this voucher, <laughs> but it's... Nope. That was not the direction this was heading at all, was it? Seems to be the problem. They're cutting down the tree. Then I guess we'll have to plant some more. Why does he look like a like a Karen superhero? Out of boy, Captain. Let's spruce this place up a bit, huh? Okay. I love this because it has so many puns in it. Not the puppy. Captain? Human trick. Planet, stop right now! My heart. Hey, all you planeteers at home, remember, turn off the faucet between usages and uh -huh. recycle those plastics. Or else, I'll turn you into a tree. Captain Planet, mother. 
I, oh, I, I, I see. You know, in recent times, a lot of climate activism has kind of gone off the rails, uh, you might say. And sometimes it's even funded by other nefarious elements just to make the whole movement look bad, right? You know, you have people smashing milk bottles in the middle of supermarkets, that kind of stuff, which doesn't really help anyone and doesn't push anything. It's just really annoying and entitled. And it's always some stupid kid doing it. But this is a whole new way of doing it. Just, just threats. Just straight up threats. <laughs> You better plant a tree or I will turn you into a tree. N nice. UK versus USA. All right, so the chessboard has seen us. So in the in the UK, we... Oh, yeah, we don't have a queen. Okay, well, that, that makes sense. In the US, we... We don't have any towers. Oh, dear. This, this is the kind of thing I would expect from a couple of just kids in Discord is going at it. <laughs> oh, no. Which side would you choose? If you... Uh, uh, moving on to the next meme, please. I only drink Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper and Pepsi. I don't drink Mountain Dew because I heard it makes your piss. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so perfect. It is so perfect. Oh, I wonder if it's planned because it is so perfect. Both of us are pissed off. We All right. can't believe the city allowed a strip club to be opened across the street from our neighborhood park. Disgusting. Now every time we're trying to spend quality time together, mm -hmm. we gotta look across the street at all those nosy families at the park. Oh, disgusting. I hate that. I hate when the wholesome family time at the strip club is interrupted by wholesome park shit. Ugh. Kate in 2011. You're an asshole, John. Other guys are starting their own businesses and you're just messing around with some weird Bitcoin thing. <laughs> you seriously think you're smarter than them? We need to break up. There's no future staying with someone like you. 27 of November, 2017. <laughs> Hi, John. How are you? Oh my God, it's been so long. You look great. I love the breakup via text. No response or texting back for like six years. And then it's, hi, oh my God. I mean, obviously, most likely, most likely not true, but it's very funny. Ryan Reynolds, at my funeral, please take the bouquet off my casket and throw it in the crowd to see who's next. <laughs> Is that how it's supposed to work? That feels more like a threat. I think this goes very well together with that other post of the person going around saying, oh, I'm sorry for what I did at funerals. <laughs> it's like... They just mesh. It's a match made in hell. Do all the multi-millionaire CEOs meet at an underground lair on Sundays to discuss how they can make society worse for everyone except for them? They used to meet at an island, but but then the owner died. That's not even a joke, though, is it? <laughs> God damn. So here we're sitting at the bar, and we're all kissing the hand of attractive lady person, and drinking and smoking with attractive lady person, cheering with attractive lady person, and her friend is right beside her, and friend can do this with the whole glass. Yes, indeed, the marriage was an easy choice, wasn't it? That's that's a bit of a that's a bit of a little little doozy, a little bit of an unexpected twist, isn't it? Oh yes, fellas at home, you know what I'm, you know, yeah. What do you like to do in your free time? So I, I spend all my free time working on my, my charity, One Last Woof, and we find elderly people who have lost their partner, and we, we pair them up with a rescue That's dog. sweet. With a similar lifespan left. Wait, wait what? So neither <laughs> has to die alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's nice, man. That's one Last Woof. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's so... <laughs> I mean, the concept is amazing, but then that last touch is just what? <laughs> yeah, my, my 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 full support though. My full my last woof. <laughs> Excellent. So here we got a little talk show, talking about some products and stuff. And is there some bad women's anatomy? Is that what's going on here? I don't think that's. I don't. I I know I know you're supposed to be like my eyes are up here, but I'm I'm concerned. The kids asked if they could write, let it snow on the windows. The bottom is what can be seen from the road. Let it snow. <laughs> kids these days, they grow up so fast or not. It's probably because they don't know what it is. For the longest time, we suspected my dad had a second family. When he died, we discovered that we were the second family. Oh no, that's so bad. It's like, li is he living a second life? And you're not even the primary choice. That stinks. True story. I went to Walmart today for cat treats. They were out of human food. Are we at the point where we refer to food as human food? All right, human female. As I stood in line, some lady made a smart ass remark to me for coming to the store just for cat treats. I told the lady I had to fatten up my cat before I ate them <laughs> because all your buttholes are hoarding the food. 
<laughs> Her little girl started crying. <laughs> I didn't even feel bad. Next time, mind your business. Oh, this must have been like around COVID times when everyone was just hoarding stuff. Yeah, I'm surprised it's not regarding toilet paper in some weird way. It's like cat wipes, but, but all the toilet paper is gone. So my cats just have really consistent explosive diarrhea. Police says man with no hands and no legs is armed and on the run. Is... Do they mean armed as in a weapon or like as as the pun as having arms? But but it's like I, I fail to see how it would be accurate in either case. And what? This reminds me of that time when there was an article. Because in the US, apparently, the logic behind when they do size comparisons is so people can picture it easier. So they often say stuff like, oh, a, a giant pile of dirt the size of a refrigerator is blocking the road. You know, so people are like, oh, I know roughly how big a refrigerator is. It's easier to picture, right? Even if it sounds kind of silly. But sometimes it just takes a complete swack a doodle twist and they post stuff like, a large boulder the size of a small boulder is blocking the road. Ah, news articles. Ah. I put this old fridge outside with a sign saying free. Three days and nobody touched it. So I changed the sign to $50. It was stolen that night. <laughs> it is kind of true though, but in like a serious way. I've heard multiple stories when people, for example, run stores with handmade things or things that are kind of like that and they sell for really cheap and no one buys them because they're cheap so people assume it's garbage. But then when they jack up the price, all of a sudden, people buy it because, oh my god, it's handmade and exclusive and unique. It's also expensive, which much means it's really good and nice. So there's this weird correlation in marketing that you sell more when you push prices down for like everyday product, like, you know, milk or toilet paper. But for certain products, it sells better when you jack up the price because people think it's an exclusive item. It's really fascinating. It's like, it's like in complete opposite directions. It's so incredible. Humans are intriguing creatures. Soccer, look at them all chasing the ball. Legit thought that the fat dude was the soccer ball midair. Wait a second. That's not the football? Wait, no. Oh, I feel so bad. No, no, no. This nice break and a little love tap on the 10 pin. Chris oh, Bye nice. just feeding it out to that four or five board down lane. Oh, clean. And look at this pin action. Oh. What was that sound effect? <laughs> This is what I would expect if I became a bowling commentator instead of a YouTuber. <laughs> oh, just look at that pin-on-pin -pin action. Oh, it just goes all the way down into the pit. Oh, yes. You have to make it enticing for the viewers at home. And also create some awkwardness between families that happen to watch. <laughs> Uh, what if your first name was Holden and your last name was Berries and you're like, I am Holden Berries and everyone would think you're holding Berries Lemau. Uh, excuse me, sir. I feel attacked. Holden Cox. <laughs> you better just live up to your name, you know. That's the only solution in this scenario. Artwork that was appreciated before World War II. Look at those pictures. Artwork that was appreciated after World War II. Look at those pictures. They just made sure that everybody can go to art school now. Oh. I was traveling back from Scotland with a mannequin lamp I had purchased. I had a lot of fun. And he just packed it like a body bag. That is so good. That is so good. And I mean, it's getting scanned, obviously. So everyone working at the airport knows that this package is, you know, approved. There's nothing weird with it. It's just a mannequin. It just happens to look a bit odd. But for the passengers, for the passengers, man. So I, uh, I cook, I clean, I do the laundry. Oh, yeah. House husband. I feel like I yeah. finally get it for the first time in my life, all the work that women have been doing for thousands of years. Look yeah. at those applause. And Approval. It is not that hard, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. I must say, though, in general, that's one of my favorite things comedians do. When they build up the audience to like, yeah, like cheer on a very specific thing. And then the whole story just turns 180 degrees and it's just, oh, complete opposite. But everyone has already cheered it on. It's so funny. I love it. Every no, human being this one. has something no. of value that they brought to the table. Especially Hitler. There are so many people you could have chosen to insert after that remark. You know, so many people. You know, you could even have chosen, you know, a, a controversial figure who's like a bit misunderstood, you know, but hasn't actually done anything atrocious. You know, there are many options, but, but this one, this, this one. So here we got little handcuffs and that's a lot of, does this even work? If it's this long, can you, can't you just like swing it over your, your head or something like this? Will this actually work? At Audi, <laughs> send nudes, please. Audi, <laughs> just one. 
Oh, there it is. Uh, we're entering fetish levels that should never be possible. Oh my God. How is this allowed on Twitter? Outrage. Musky Husky, please. Um, uh, nudity. Hey, Dumbot, your girl is cheating on you. Blorp, I am blind. Oh, shite. Uh, 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 braille. Oh, that freaking W word. Outrageous. But how do you actually like, like touch the screen? This reminds me of that time I saw like a very hot surface with a warning sign that said, do not touch, it's hot. And then they also put that in braille. But you have to touch it to read it. <laughs> I think they just hated blind people. The way my neighbor makes the entire apartment building smell like boiled feet. Ugh, I'm about to sit outside their door with fan breeze on full blast till they get the hint. So it turns out he died. Yeah, that would, that would explain the smell though. Ah, oh, name one thing in this photo. Okay, hold, hold, hold on, what? What is all this stuff? I don't... Is this like an AI-generated picture that's been deep-fried? I can't pinpoint... I mean, there's a lot of, like, materials. You know, there's something fluffy there down right. There's... Is that a rug? Or is it... I don't think it's a rug. This is so oddly unspecific. This is so weird. Is this an AI picture or something? You know, one of those molten things? Weird. Maybe they'll smile back. Oh, that's sweet. You smile at the world and the world smiles back. You see, cute girl in class. She looks over at you. Yeah, give her give her your best smile, boy. There we go. Ah. <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful. Nothing nothing encourages social distancing quite like a little bit of smiling, doesn't it? Well, laddies, lasses, and lassos, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed having you here, you absolutely amazing bean. Remember, emotional support demon is still out for a very limited time only. Get it now while you still can or regret it for eternity. And I will see you in the very next video. Take care. Mwah. Thank <laughs> you.